What's up guys? Welcome to the I believe we're on the 66th episode or maybe it's the 67th episode of Block Squawk. It is the 10th of July 2019 and the time now is 8:35 a.m. getting a couple minutes of a late start on market open, but markets have been open for 5 minutes here in the US. And uh overall price trend as we can see on the uh uh executed trades is uh slightly upwards. Um, and uh, trend right now on the five minute, or I'm sorry, on the one minute chart ranging sideways after a bull pull. So expected to see a continuation any second now. We're actually testing uh, 10 hour support, 12 hour, or I guess you could say 20, 24 hour support. Yeah, there's the alert. So uh, it looks like we're going up. Uh, and uh, and I put out uh, several tweets on it this morning uh, that's expected. Um, and so, uh, but I am gonna, um, delay, uh, day trading for myself anyway, for the next few minutes, I already have my long-term position in, um, and, uh, stops and all that. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit further, uh, right now from Coindesk commercial debt market goes live with backing from Coinbase ventures. Um, so we're going to talk about news. I usually do the squawk first and then, uh, we go over news, but I, I, I'm always kind of flipping stuff around. So I think we're going to go over the news. Uh, and that's because I, I, I front ran the news a little bit this morning. Um, and uh, just because I wanted to try try it the other way around. So I went ahead and made some notes. Um, and so we'll go over those right now. And then I'll briefly check and see if there's anything within the last few minutes on the board. And then uh, we'll go into the charts. So uh, without further ado. Oh, and... Um, uh, before we do get started, and, and if you're listening to this on the podcast, you've heard the disclaimer already, but uh, for those of you watching on YouTube or Twitch or uh, or listening live or whatever, um, it, nothing uh, that you hear on the podcast or stream is to be interpreted as financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. These are only my opinions. And uh, And with that said, please consult a financial advisor before risking capital and with that said let's press on uh so uh, uh, there were uh, several interesting stories as you can see here that were on the uh trending side of the board so most of these stories are trending if they're within the last few minutes like a couple of these down here uh then they were just on the uh recent stories uh board so but um we'll get started with the most interesting news first two hours ago from uh box mining that's a youtube channel uh box mining interviewed cz from binance and uh, they talked about uh, the DEX and about Binance.us and all of those are extremely important for us as traders uh, because especially if you held on Binance because uh, and if, if you traded period on Binance because um, there's a lot of talk for those of you who aren't if you're listening and you're not super familiar with crypto Binance is probably the number one uh, exchange possibly in general debatably in general but definitely for altcoins and so um, they are uh, severing ties with US investors US retail investors because of uh, regulations in the US and they are starting up binance.us which is going to be a, a similar to a coinbase in terms of uh, having some alts available and so initially there was some talk about kraken picking up the slack after us cut ties with or uh, binance cut ties with us and that's um frag to happen scheduled to happen in uh, i believe september and so uh but it looks like uh there may be a light at the end of the tunnel for those diehard binancers who don't want to leave Binance and so uh, basically CZ said that DEX is the future uh, right now uh, their decentralized exchange which is not to be con confused with Binance.us their decentralized exchange which is basically an exchange that sits on a blockchain right and it's decentralized currently consists of 10 nodes but Binance itself is only running one node um, and so uh, uh, CZ mentioned that they were going to keep for the time being they were going to keep the nodes uh, node owners private uh, and that that number may go up I believe 
Um, but um, right now, the DEX itself is is primarily closed source. They're gonna go open source once they feel like they have uh, like a good grip on it because they don't want to make it open source and then everybody and their mother starts releasing similar uh, decentralized exchanges or you know because open sources you know they could just go in somebody can just go and copy the the code and then start their own and so they want to feel like they they, they want to make sure that they really have like a good head start before they make it open source but the um, the the, the goal is to, to get ahead of the game before they make it open source. So and 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 CZ at Binance has been pretty good about about staying um, true to that to that principle, that philosophy, that open source libertarian mindset. So and uh, maybe that comes from um, just you know uh, having to work and operate in China, etc. So. Uh, Newswire just came out with an article a few moments ago that if you saw saying that uh, uh, Bitcoin has tripled uh, in 2019, uh, more than tripled in the first half of 2019. So let's uh, let's let's continue discussing Binance. Uh, the user interface uh, on the Binance Dex is improving, and that's important because if you have gone to go look at one of these decentralized exchanges, the user, user interface is 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 part of my french crap it's just crap like uh it's not it's not very easy to use and i know a lot of like um traders are are essentially against um decentralized exchanges just probably that's the main reason that you know it's um that the user interface is bad uh probably a lot of retail and low cap trading will take place on the decentralized exchanges and uh you know once you uh get a good trading stake maybe you can move on to become a, a certified investor or accredited investor and move on to big boy exchanges and stuff like that but it it certainly looks like the the landscape is splitting uh thanks to u.s regulation and you know just other things within the space um they essentially have custody of funds solved so you'll remain uh the custodian of your own funds uh, and remain uh, responsible for uh, its uh, its security. Uh, he talked about levels of centralization, and so. Um, but none of this is to be confused with uh, Binance. Binance. Us is the the U.S. exchange, and uh, that will be open. That's not on now, but it'll be going live soon, according to CZ. But Binance. Org is going to be the uh the dex the decentralized exchange now the he did mention this is important that the that the binance.org the website will be blocked to us users and if you want to use a, a vpn to get around that you probably can but actual use of the platform is decentralized so there's really no way to block it so you'll be able to use the platform but binance.org it said the website itself will be blocked to us investors which if you're using a vpn you can get around it that's just the way binance solves um staying in line with us regulations etc um so he encourages us users to move their uh, binance.com funds to binance.us when available uh, and there will be a smaller selection, but specifics are to follow. So that's it. I just wanted to talk about that. That was two hours ago from Box Mining. Um, we'll run through the rest of these relatively quickly. So four, four hours ago from Coin Speaker, uh, Bitcoin pumped to 13k, allegedly associated with Fed warning of recessions. And so that 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 warning did come out. And um, despite the whale sell on Binance. Uh, we'll discuss that in a little bit. Bitcoin is still going up. So it's interesting when you get um, stories that are crossing, you know, you know, you get a long bias story and a short bias story and one wins out. Uh, it says it says a lot when one wins out, you know, it's, it says that one's definitely stronger. So it does definitely does seem like Bitcoin is um, on the strength side. Um, 11, hour, 11 hours ago, excuse me, from CCN, Winklevoss twins are quoted as saying the, that we are in the bottom of the first inning with respect to crypto. So it's still early, uh, but as far as like um, the movement of the market, I say we're 
uh, getting close to that 30k level which we'll also talk about a little bit later um, 14 hours ago from crypto slate uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, ETH, uh, ethereum phones are currently in beta so and those are fried to come out soon uh, 24 hours ago from uh, ZY crypto and uh, CNBC Mark Yesko came out in an interview I was watching this Mark Yesko is a uh, from uh, Morgan Creek Capital, and uh, he said that we are in a parabolic move to 30k, um, and you know that's been the talk of the town for the last month. Uh, 20 hours ago, Daily Hodel says crypto whale dumps 6,500 Bitcoin on Binance triggers flash crash, and yeah, so that did happen. But also, you know, this uh, this FOMO from the Fed is causing price to move up anyway so that's that interesting stuff that we're that i was just talking about 56 minutes ago from amb crypto poloniex now supports crypto trading with bank accounts and credit cards now i'm not sure if that means that i i imagine that means that they have a you know a, a, a fiat on ramp for us investors i haven't gone to poloniex to see but uh definitely if you're interested in trading on poloniex that would be something to go check out their uh ux ui um poloniex is really neat I, I really like the way the exchange works but i'm a kind of a dark screen uh guy you might be a light screen person so but yeah i think they have the ability to switch between the two uh, eight minutes ago from Crypto Globe, Charlie Lee, Litecoin founder, talks about uh, next month's having. So don't forget. Um, I haven't gone to see what he said about it, but don't forget that um, we have uh, next month. So uh, we'll talk about that more in the coming uh, minutes and uh, possibly minutes, but definitely over the coming episodes. Uh, and uh, this was on some of the recent stories. Five minutes ago from CCN. Facebook cancels Libra India launch thanks to crypto government haters. So yeah, and if you've been following the news, you've seen that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of negative news coming out of India. Um, so uh, so it's it's not a good time to be a crypto investor in India. Let's just leave it at that. Um, as far as recent stories that are just coming out on uh crypto panic on the on the news board um 11 minutes ago from bitcoinnews.com bitcoin above 13k amid heightened volume and uh and yeah so uh volume is is a key indicator guys uh, we we have some sell volume right now but you know that's amid everything happening so uh we'll continue to keep an eye on the price um that's gonna do it for the news really let's move into the uh squawk we're gonna squawk out the top 20 coins and then uh probably be done with the podcast or the podcast and stream uh remember to reach out to me on uh twitter i'm at joel benavides or you can email me j-o-e-l-b dot b-e-n-a-v-i-d-e-z at gmail.com that's joel dot benavides at gmail.com or at joel benavides on twitter uh, and uh, you can always support the podcast and the stream by heading over to anchor.fm forward slash block squawk. That's B-L-O-K-S-Q-U-A-W-K. And uh, hit the support this podcast button and that would help immensely in the support, uh, maintenance, longevity, and improvement of uh, the block squawk podcast. So, uh, but let's move in uh, to the squawk. So format's going to go like this. Coming in at 20th place by market cap is Ethereum Classic by symbol ETC. That's trading at $7.82 or $7.82, down 1.99% on the day amidst a 24-hour traded volume of $640.9 million. That 24-hour uh, traded volume is going to be an approximation. Anything beyond one cent is going to be an approximation with respect to quoted price, and we'll uh, get into market cap specifics right around the top three. So with that all said, let's move on to the next coin and the rest of the squad. Coming at 19th by market cap, Cosmos by ATOM, ticker symbol ATOM. Trading at 4 and 81, down 5.06% on the day amidst 24-hour trade of volume, 130 million. IOTA by the symbol MIOTA in at 18th by market cap. Trading at 39 cents, down 1.77% on the day. 24-hour trade of volume, 16.1 million approximately. Chainlink 
by uh, symbol LINK and at 17th by market cap trading at 3 and 12 down 2.4% on the day 24 hour traded volume is 154.6 million NEO by the same symbol and at 16th by market cap trading at 17 and 29 down 1.33% of the day 24 hour traded volume 447.8 million dash by the same symbol DASH and at 15th by market cap trading at 154 and 86 down 2.07% of the day 24 hour traded volume 257.8 million units in at 14 14th by market cap trading at 1 and 58 up 2.85 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume uh, only 10.3 million guys monero by the symbol xmr in at 13th by market cap trading at 101 and one down 1.31 1 percent of the day too many ones uh 24 hour traded volume on monero guys was 118.8 million approximately stellar by the same symbol or i'm sorry not by the same symbol by symbol xlm in a 12th by market cap trading at nine cents uh more specifically 9.9 .9 cents down 2.99 percent on the day nearly three percent on the day Tr 24 hour traded volume on stellar guys was 382.8 million cardano by symbol ada and at 11th by market cap trading at 7.6 cents down 3.16 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume 110.4 million moving to the top 10 now guys happy to see tron in the top 10 uh, i'm a big fan of tron and um and auger but uh tron is in the top 10 uh trading at 3.3 cents down 2.61 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume 722.5 mil bitcoin sv by symbol bsv and at ninth by market cap trading at 202 and 79 that is down 1.56 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume was 346.5 million and uh tether usdt in at eighth by market cap trading at a dollar even down half a percent and 24 hour traded volume on our top uh stable coin guys is at 26.4 billion that's billion with a b uh, moving into the seventh place, seventh by market cap, Binance Coin, of course, BNB, and at thirty, uh, and at seventh, tr trading at thirty-two and thirty-one, down three point five five percent on the day. Twenty-four hour traded volume, two hundred twenty-three point nine million. Uh, EOS by the symbol EOS, same symbol, and at sixth by market cap, trading at five and eighty-four, down two point two two percent on the day. Twenty-four hour traded volume, two point two billion. Moving into the fifth slot by market cap, Bitcoin Cash, BCH in at fifth, trading at 416 and 79, down 1.17% of the day, 24 hour trade volume, 1.5 billion. And uh, Litecoin LTC in at fourth by market cap, trading at 119 and 25, down 1.27% on the day, 24 hour trade volume, 3.7 mil. Moving into the top three now, guys, top three um xrp by the same symbol that's formerly ripple in a third by market cap trading at 39 cents down 0 0.95 percent on the day 24 hour trade volume 10.1 arms um, correction a uh, 1.3 billion ethereum by the symbol eth in its second by market cap trading at 309 and 56 down 1.19 percent on the day 24 hour trade volume 10.1 billion uh market cap on ethereum guys now rests at 33 billion and uh, lastly of course bitcoin by symbol btc or xbt and a first by market cap trading at 27.7 or i'm sorry <laughs> trading at 12,980 and 23 up that's up 4.28 percent on the day 24 hour trade of volume 27.7 billion and market cap uh now at 231.1 billion and uh circulating supply uh moving into that 800,000 zone 17,809 uh 687 bitcoin that's gonna do it for the squat guys i don't really have anything else for you guys right now um please remember that nothing you heard on the uh, podcast is financial advice trading advice tax advice etc and uh i'm gonna let my other self take us out of the uh, out of the podcast right now i will remain streaming for the next few minutes and uh, we'll talk about anything um, that I ha didn't have to do under the gun of time. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that's going to be it right now. Bitcoin on the Coinbase trading at 13,071 and 28. Uh, and overall trend looks to be upward slightly. Um, let's see, where am I? Sorry, I'm getting like notifications on my phone. So I'm trying to do two things. Oh, there we go um anyway uh that's gonna do it for us 
I didn't go over a whole lot of the charts today, but we can see right now we've been looking at the one hour uh, and uh, everything looks looks uh, relatively upward. Uh, let's take a quick look at the one day chart. And you can see right here where right now we're testing uh, daily highs as well as uh, as well as uh, the uh, month to date high and uh, which is basically like the weekly high and uh, so uh, universal day closes in a few hours next few hours of trading will uh, probably tell us a lot closing prices are gonna have us above uh, those closing prices we had uh, a few days ago a couple weeks ago at 12,900 so we'll keep an eye on that for you come back if anything uh, anything critical occurs so uh, here we go I am out of here guys Thanks for listening to another episode of Block Squawk. Remember that nothing on Block Squawk is to be interpreted as financial advice, investment advice, trading advice, or tax advice, and seek out a financial advisor before risking capital. Block Squawk is listener supported, so if you go to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and tap the support this podcast button, you'd be helping immensely in the maintenance, support, improvement, and longevity of the podcast and stream. If you don't want to contribute financially, you can always like, subscribe, tap the post notification bell, as well as comment and repost, and this also helps greatly. Again, thanks for hanging out with us a bit. I hope you reach out over Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides. Apart from that, you can usually find me on Spotify, Anchor, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Radio Public, Facebook pages, Instagram, LinkedIn, TradingView, StockTwits, and more by searching Blog Squawk or Joel Benavides. Good luck out there. I'll see you guys on the moon. Cheers. See you on the moon. That's how it is. We'll see you guys later. Bitcoin at 13,059 and 21 amidst heavy sell volume right now, uh, but price is stable and upward. We'll see you guys later. Cheers.